this is now cost allocation. I'll start now, guys. So learning objective number one, we explained the major reasons for the need for allocating non-manufacturing costs. Okay. So let's have the service department charges. We have here the operating departments. They carry out the central purposes of the organization. And then we have the services departments. They do not directly engage in operating activities. So that's the difference between operating departments and the service departments. Now, the service department costs are charged to operating departments for a variety of reasons, including, like what I said, you know, Kanina, uh, we are service departments, the accounting department, the human resources department. And we service the other departments, the operating departments of the company. What are those reasons? One, to encourage operating departments to wisely use service department resources. Number two, to help measure the profitability of operating departments. Because if no one will absorb the cost of the service departments, how, how, they shall be, how shall they be treated? So we must distribute. To provide operating departments with more complete cost data for making decisions and to create an incentive for service departments to operate efficiently. Management needs. Management needs to understand the full cost of providing a product or service, including the supporting cost, to make better decisions. So you just don't consider the cost in that particular department because other departments of the company, the service departments, are functioning also, and you are incurring costs also. You pay the salaries there, you pay the office supplies there, you pay the electricity there, and so on and so forth. So the cost of the service departments must be considered and must be distributed to the operating departments. So the reasons, ensuring competitive costing and pricing, assessment of risk and potential success of the product or service, financial and operational forecast and planning, motivating performance evaluation and reward system, communicating to employees about the importance of recovering all indirect costs. Encouraging efficient and effective use of resources, and then ensuring long term sustainability and competitiveness. Sometimes in the mo, ang laki naman ng markup ng mga to eh. Diba? You have that uh, material markup already, and yet, do sa bottom line nyo, nalulugi pa yung company. Because there are many indirect costs so that are not considered. They are not considered. Next, transfer prices. The service department charges considered can be viewed as a transfer price that is charged for services provided by service departments to the operating departments or companies within the group. So the service department costs are transferred to the operating department, operating departments. Okay, factors to be considered for the cost allocation approach and intercompany or interdepartmental charges. Number one, the cost benefit evaluation, and that includes tangible and intangible cost and benefits. Number two, cost and effect, absorption of cost based on who causes it. Three, the benefit received, the absorption of cost based on the ultimate benefactor. For the ability to bear, absorption of cost based on who, which product has the ability and profit margin to bear the cost. Okay, sometimes kasi you distribute to one operating department, napakaliit lang ng kanyang revenue, baka that department is not capable of absorbing the transferred cost. Last one, the fairness or equity, ensuring fair, fair gain and decent profit to motive service provider. For example, the use of a cost plus performance based award fee approach to ensure quality delivery of service or product. Okay, now we go to service department charges. We learn how to allocate cost of service departments to other operating departments or units, the cost using the cost behavior 
concept. Okay. Whenever possible, variable and fixed service department cost should be charged separately. Okay, the variable service department cost should be charged to consuming departments according to whatever activity causes the incurrence of the cost. What about the fixed cost? Charge fixed service department cost to consuming departments in predetermined lap sum amounts that are based on the consuming department's peak period or long run average servicing needs and are based on amounts of capacity each consuming department requires and should not vary from period to period. Now, what about budgeted? Now, should actual or budgeted cost be charged? According to this one, budgeted variable and fixed service department costs should be charged to operating departments. Okay, let's have an example. SIPCO has a maintenance department and two operating departments, which are the cutting and assembly. The maintenance department is the service department. The variable maintenance costs are budgeted at 0.60 per machine hour. The fixed maintenance costs are budgeted at 200,000 per year. Okay, so data relating to the current year are as follows. Okay. So you have the operating departments consisting of cutting and assembly, the percent of peak period capacity required, okay, 60% for cutting, 40% for assembly. The hours plan, you have 75,000 hours for cutting and 50,000 hours for assembly or a total of 125,000. Now the actual hours used, Cutting used 80,000 hours. Assembly used 40,000 hours. Now we allocate the maintenance cost to the two operating departments. Makano ba yung uh, maintenance cost? 200,000. Okay? So let's check how it goes. We have here two columns, the cutting department and the assembly department. The variable cost allocation would be Bakanin variable rate niya? Is it 0.60? According to the given, it's 0.60 per machine R. Okay? Then we'll multiply that with the actual R's. No? So 0.60 multiplied by 80,000, you get 48,000 for the cutting department. And 0.60 times 40,000 R's, you get 24,000 for what? The assembly department. That's for the variable. What about for the fix? Okay. The percent of peak period capacity is 60%. No? For um, cutting, so that is 60% times 200,000. That's 120,000. And 40% times 200,000, that would be for the assembly department. So the total allocated cost is 168,000 for cutting and 104,000 for the assembly department. Where did we get 200,000? 200,000 is given That's the fixed maintenance cost and budgeted at 200,000 per year. Okay. Quick check. Foster company or foster city as an ambulance service that is used by the two public hospitals in the city. So they're sharing the ambulance service. Variable ambulance costs are budgeted at 4.20 per mile. The fixed ambulance costs are budgeted at 120,000 per year. So ito yung data for the year. Can you allocate? So anong gagawin kapag ganito? Di ba meron kang budgeted variable cost per mile of 4.20? Saan mo multiply yung 4.20? Doon sa miles used. Doon sa actual miles used. And then yung fix based on capacity. No, yung 45 at saka 55%. Let us look at the computation. How much ambulance service cost will be allocated to Mercy Hospital at the end of the year? Ayan. So dalawa yung hospitals, Mercy at saka North Side. So anong tinatanong sa atin? 
Ayan. So, variable at saka fix. Uh, you know, that variable is 4.20 multiplied by what? 16,000. At saka 45% of 120,000. So here is the computation. Tama ba? For mercy, 4.20 times 16,000. That's 67,200. And then 45% of 120,000, that's 54,000. So the total here is 121,200. So if you'll be asked, how much will be for north side? The answer is 139,500. Now, what are the pitfalls in allocating fixed costs? Allocating fixed costs using a variable allocation base. Now, the result, fixed costs allocated to one department are heavily influenced but by what happens in other departments. That's the result. What about using sales dollars as an allocation base? Now, the result, sales of one department influence the service department costs allocated to other departments. So say, for example, you have two departments. No? Both have uh, sales of 100,000 and 100,000. Now, what, what is the allocation? What's the percentage of distribution? From 100 at saka 100, 50% at saka 50%, right? I say 100 and 100, that's a total of 200,000. Now, what if, no, Yung second second no department si B naging 200,000 siya. E si A wala naman siyang ginawa, 100,000 pa rin. 50 at saka 50 pa ba yung allocation? Hindi na. No, naging one third na si A. No, biglang bigla bumaba yung allocation kay A. Naging two thirds si B. E wala namang ginawa si A. Ang may ginawa si B. Si B nagdagdag siya ng sales. So, naragdagan yung kanyang allocation. Now, from 50%, naging two-thirds na siya. Two-thirds is 66.67%. Si A naman, dati siyang 50%, wala siyang ginawa, naging 33.33% siya. No? So, that's a pitfall no? in, allocation, in allocating fixed costs. Let us have an example. Autos are us. Is one service department and three sales departments. Now, the new cars, the used cars, and car parts. So there are three departments. The service department costs total 80000 for both years in the example. Okay, so how do we allocate this 80000 Contrary to good practice, Autos R Us allocates the service department cost based on sales. So merong sales in new cars, merong sales in used cars, Meron din sales si car parts. Ngayon, paghahatian nila si 80,000 based on sales. O, tignan natin. Okay? So, si new department, meron siyang sales na 1.5. Si used, 900. Si parts, 600. If we get the total, we get the total of 3 million. So, 1.5 divided by 3 million, you get 50%. No? 900 divided by 3 million, you get 30%. And four parts, you get 20%. Now, using these percentages, let us allocate the total service department cost of 80,000. So, what's the allocation? 50% of 80,000, you get your 40. 30% 30 of 80,000, you get your 24,000. And then 20% 20 of 80,000, you get your 16,000. Okay, ito yung allocation, ha? 40, 24, and 16. Oh, let us continue. Next year daw, no, the manager of the new cars, ito, yung 1.5. Increase sales by 500,000. So, ilan na yung sales ngayon? Ito, 2 million na. Eh, wala namang ginawa si use at saka si parts. Ano kaya ang effect nun pag naging 2 million to? What happens to 50%? Kapag naging 2 million to, so nagiging 3.5 million na to, no? So what happens to 50%? Mararagdagan ba yung 50%? 2 yes, million? Po. Yes, correct. Mararagdagan. Eh, mag, anong mangyayari kay 
wala namang ginawa si Yus. Plus minus. Minus. Tapos si parts, minus din. Yun ang sinasabi niya. No? Ang gumalaw lang talaga si Yu. So naragdagan pa yung kay Yu, pero nabawasan pa yung kay Yus at saka yung kay parts. In fact, naging 57% si Yu, naging 26% na lang si Yu, at naging 17% na lang si Yu. Did you get that? No? Okay. So if you were the manager of the new cars department, would you be happy with the increased service department cost allocated to your department? Answer, yes or no. Matutuwa ka ba? ba? Ako na nga nagtrabaho. Ako pa hindi nagdagan yun na cost. Di ba yung nasasabihin mo? Kasi nagdagdag siya ng sales eh. Masipag siya, di ba? From 1.5 to 2 million. And yet, that act of increasing sales is naragdagan yung kanyang allocated cost. So the benefit no, of the other departments na wala namang ginawa. Okay? So let's have some more service department allocations. Ayan. So operating departments and operating department carries out the central purpose of the organization. The surgery department at Mount Sinai Hospital. Oh, ito. The geography department at the University of Washington. Or the production or manufacturing department of a car company. So ito yung examples of operating departments. Okay? O oh, ito, what are examples of service departments? Tayo, yung mga nasa accounting. We are service departments. Diba? Walang income si accounting department, pero lahat yan sineservisan natin. Diba? Well, not to praise the work of the accountants, but the management, all departments, if they need financial information, they all go to the accounting department. Yeah, to the extent that even when customers are complaining, they are referred to the accounting department. And then we go to the human resources department. Of course, uh, as we mentioned, the human resources department services also all other departments. Number one, when you are in need you know, of employees, siempre you refer your concern to the human resources department. But as we mentioned before, hindi lang siya hiring. Ha? There are other functions of the HR department. Okay? So, how are they connected? The service department and the operating department. The service department services the operating department. That is why the cost of the service department become the overhead cost to the operating department. Okay. So these are the different allocation approaches. We have the direct method, the step-down method, and the reciprocal method. Ako ginagawa ko lang talaga yung direct method. Ang gang dito sa step-down method. This one reciprocal method, medyo mahirap na to. Let us uh, see how uh, these methods are. Uh, Discuss no in this slides. You have here a service department one and another service department, which is service department two. Now, when service departments provide services to each other, we call them reciprocal services. Like for example, no, the accounting may be providing services to the HR. The HR may be providing services to the accounting. So they are providing reciprocal services. Let's do the allocation using the direct method. Let us look here. You have the service department, which is called the cafeteria. Ayan. So under the direct method, yung cost the cafeteria, o oh, asan yung kanyang mga arrows, i-distribute niya kay machining at saka kay operating, ay kay assembly. Are you following? Yung cost di cafeteria, ibibigay niya kay machining at saka kay assembly. That's a direct approach. Ha? Okay. Tapos yung isa pang service department, sa so custodial naman, 
Ganon din ang gagawin niya. Bibigyan din niya ng cost si machining. Bibigyan din niya ng cost si assembly. Which means walang pakialaman si cafeteria at saka si custodial. So si custodial, binibigyan niya ng cost si machining at saka si assembly. Ganon ang ginagawa rin ni cafeteria. Bibigay din niya kay machining at saka kay assembly. So ano yung cost ngayon ni operating na machining department? Ang cost ngayon ni machining department, yung kanyang direct cost, siyempre meron siyang sariling cost, di ba? This operating department, the machining department. Plus yung cost na galing kay cafeteria at saka yung cost na galing kay custodial. Ano yung cost ni assembly? No? Si assembly, may sarili siyang cost plus yung cost na galing kay cafeteria at saka yung cost na galing kay custodial. Okay? So, assuming the cafeteria costs are allocated based on the number of employees. So let's, let's distribute cafeteria costs. Ilan ba yung number of employees? Di ba ang magre-receive si machining? May 20 employees. Si assembly meron siyang 30 employees. Ano yung allocation? Fraction, paano? 20 over 50 at saka 30 over 50. You agree? Sila lang kasi maghahati eh. Hindi kasama si custodial, di ba? Ang maghahati sa cost na 360,000 ay si 20 at saka si 30. So would that be 20 over 50? And 30 over 50 multiplied by 360,000. Okay? Now, let us distribute the custodial cost based on square feet occupied naman. No? O ito. Based on square feet, 25,000 is machining, 50,000 C assembly. So ano ngayon to? 25 over 70 at saka 50 over 70 multiplied by the custodial cost of 90,000. Did you get it? Ah, okay, let's do the computations. Ayan. So the question is how much of the cafeteria and custodial cost should be allocated to operating department using the direct method of cost allocation. Diba sinabi na natin kanina ito? Based on employees, diba? Tignan natin. 20 over 50 at saka 30 over 50. Tama ba? Ayan no? 20 over 50 multiplied by 360,000, you get 144. Let's have the other one. Ayan. 30 over 50 times 360,000, you get 216,000. So how do you allocate daw yung custodial? Anong basis sa custodial? Anong basis of allocation sa custodial? Number of employees ulit? Ano? Square? Square feet. No, no area occupied by the department. Yan. So 25 over 75. Or oh, what's the other fraction? 50 over 75. And of course, the total cost of machining would be yung sarili niyang cost na 400 plus yung cost na galing kay cafeteria saka yung cost na galing kay custodial. Si assembly, ganun din, may sarili siyang 700 plus yung galing kay cafeteria at saka yung galing kay custodia. Okay? Now, we discuss the direct method. Now we go to the step-down method. Ano naman yung step-down method? Can you explain? Paano yan? Play, can you explain? Ah, paano yung mga arrows pag step down? Umpisa kay cafeteria. Sorry kung nakikita kong pinakamalapit sa ano ko. Sa box ko. <laughs> hindi ko na siya ma... Wait lang, sir. Parang hindi ko na siya maalala. Pero parang yung una, ito muna yung a-allocate mo dito sa mga service departments. Tapos yung next cost ng service department na yon is i-allocate mo naman using sa proportion ng remaining na service departments. Wait lang. <laughs> Hindi na ako sure, sir. Wait. 
Detik sa dami ng araw. Sa, sa, saan nagbigay si ano si cafeteria? Sinong bigay yan ni cafeteria? Sundan mo lang yung arrow. Yung binigyan ni cafeteria is yung custodial. tatlo. Yung custodial, operating, and si assembly. So, ibig sabihin, si custodial, service department siya, pero sasalurin siya, di ba? Oo. Sasalurin siya. So, Pagkatapos niyang sumalo, ngayon, si magbibigay din siya ngayon. Kanina yung bibigay? Ay masini at saka kay okay. assembly. Operating. Uh, ay, assembly, yeah. sorry. Guys, so, bali it. una. Bali Sige unang i... So, bali yung unang i-distribute na service cost ay ni cafeteria is to the three. Correct. Tapos, after yung allocation niya sa tatlong yon is si custodial department, yung cost niya itself, additionally, yung kay cafeteria, is i-allocate naman siya sa two departments, which is machining and assembly. Correct. So, muna tumanggap muna siya, di ba, kay cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So, lahat yung natanggap niya at yung dating sa kanya, i-distribute niya ngayon kay machining at saka kay assembly. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, we have this example again. No? At sinasabi natin, si cafeteria cost will be allocated using the number of employees. Si custodial cost will be allocated using the square feet occupied. So, Halimbawa, i-distribute ngayon ito, no? Based on number of employees. Ano ang fractions? Kasama si custodial, eh. So, anong fraction? 10 over what? 10 over 60. 60. 60. 20 over 60. Tsaka 30 over 60. Eh, pagdating dito, kamukha nung dati, sila na lang ang mag-share. Si 25 over 75. At saka 50 over 75. Gets? So, allocate cafeteria cost. So, ito yon yung 60 na sinasabi natin. 10 over 60. O ano to? 20 over 60. Tsaka ano pa? 30 over 60. O ito, ano to? Yung dito. 50 over, sorry. 25 over 75 at saka 50 over 75. Nakuha niyo yung step down. Sasalo muna no yung unang service de sorry, yung pangalawang service department. So, tingnan mo. So, ano yung dinistribute ni custodial? Yung 90 plus 60, pati yung nasalo niyang 60. So, 150 siya ngayon. Kasi kanina we distributed just the 90,000. Ito naman, medyo magulo na ito eh. Si service, una, bibigyan niya si custodial. Si custodial, bibigyan din niya si service. And I think it says here because of its mathematical complexity, the reciprocal method is rarely used. Okay, quick check data for direct and step-down methods. Let's have a quick check data, okay. So, what are the service departments? Admin. Ano nga yung uh, BACS? Box? Ay, ito pala. Business Administration Computer Services. I was thinking of a bidding committee. No? So, Business Administration Computer Services. How are they allocated? The admin is allocated based on the number of employees. And BACS, that's allocated based on the number of personnel computers. Ayan. So, anong tinatanong? How much cost will be allocated no, from administration to accounting? Pagkano daw? No? Okay. The direct method of allocation is used for oh. Kapag direct method, o i-allocate mo raw si 180 kay accounting and others. O, so, ano yung fraction mo? Anong fraction na i-apply natin sa 180,000? Para makarating kay accounting. Ano siya? What's the fraction? 20 over 100. 20 over 100. 100. Oh, here. Ano ba? Magbibigay ako dito. Ano siya? 80 over 100. 80 over 100. 100. Oh, ito. 
Eh, paano kung i-distribute ko si si Box, B-A-C-S? 18 over... 120. 120. Saka 102 over 1. Number 120. Gets nyo? Okay. So, sagutin natin ito. How much cost will be allocated from administration to accounting? So, ito siya, di ba? 20 over 100. Okay. Next question. 100 times 180. How much total cost will be allocated from admin and box combined to the accounting department? Sagot. Ito. Di ba? Okay. Okay. Parang na-compute yung 13.5. 18 over 120. That's under the direct method approach. Ha? Hindi yan yung step down. O quick check data. O. What if the step down method is being used? So yung pinag-aralan natin, una si admin, magbibigay muna kay box. Okay, box. Tapos si box, magbibigay kay accounting and others. Okay? So... How much total cost will be allocated from admin and box combined no, to the accounting department? So, magdi-distribute muna siya. No? Ito. So, yung 180,000 will be allocated first to box, accounting, and others. Tapos, 90 plus 8,571. That's a total of 98,571. Yun ang di-distribute mo kay accounting and Others. So, and you have this. Pinasabi niya, how much combined no, was allocated to accounting. So, 34 plus 14, you have this number. 49070. Alright? Ayan. Abongga. That's the end of chapter 6. No? Okay.